Hey guys, so um, let's talk padsicles. Since I am 41 weeks now, I am trying to get ready and have everything on point so that when I get home, um, I can enjoy. Last time, my friend made the padsicles for me and they were very beneficial, so I highly recommend them. So today, I'm gonna make them myself. Um, also, I went to Target and did the drive up thing. I had never done it before, so I was a little nervous. Um, you know. That's where you uh, pick your items on the app and then they bring them out to your car. So it was really easy. Anyway, so these are the items that I got in case you wanna do them too. I got, well, this I got because this is where I would put the um, the Ziploc gallon bags, not only for the pad sickles, but I'm also gonna do the placenta encapsulation and so they want me to have a bag so I can put the placenta in there. Witch hazel, which needs to be uh, alcohol free. So we're gonna use that aloe vera to place on the pads, you'll see in a minute. And last but not least, the always maxi pad. So if you wanna know how I did this, stick around. Okay, so we're gonna do the postpartum pad sickles. And I'm starting off with the always um, maxi pads. These are huge, but I feel like they go obviously front to back. So this one's pretty big. So we start by opening and removing just to one side both of these little tags or papers. So we're just going to open them like that. Now, obviously I forgot to mention earlier, we're going to do lavender oil. You can do any oil. So first we're gonna put aloe vera. And we're gonna grab a spoon to spread this. Aloe vera is thick so I want to do that so the witch hazel doesn't seep through into the pad. And then we're going to do some lavender. So we're going to use the same papers we had here. just going to wrap them up again the way that we found them and this is what's going to go into the Ziploc bag. So we're going to make a couple more. Okay guys, so that's about it for these. I just wanted to give you a couple different views. Once you're done with this, you're gonna put it in your gallon size Ziploc bag as I'm doing here, and then you put it in your freezer. That way they're ready for you once you come home. Um, highly recommend these. And so that's it. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, guys. See you later.